Okay. Um, I do want to let you guys know um, there are some things in this letter is definitely personal. So I would not be reading those um, that part of the letter. I do want to let you guys know in this letter, the update that he does have money on his books um, as of right now. But the week that he wrote me, um, the prison was giving me a hard time on approving me to be able to send money on his books. Okay. So once again, the people who just came in, peace to you. I have a letter that my husband wrote and he that my husband wrote that my husband wrote and he wanted me to share this letter with his followers. Okay? Once again, TikTok and YouTube, the title of this letter is From My Torture Room in Tears. Okay. Um I'm about to start, so I will be cutting the comments off. I want everyone to focus on the letter he wrote me, okay? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, here it is. Look, y'all, I'm new to this IG. I do not do these lives. So I'm just trying to figure out, um, um, trying to figure out how to turn the goddamn comments off. <laughs> um, and yes, um, please screen, um, screen record it if you can. Okay. Hold on. I think I found how to turn the comments off. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I found it. Okay. All right. It says, Peace, Goddess. I love you deeply, Supreme Reflection. May this letter warm your soul. May every word find comfort in your heart and course throughout your veins with every breath that you take. I find myself in constant agony because I love you more than I love myself and you have been ripped away from me. You are me and I am you. So I do not mind loving you more than I love myself because when I love you, I love self. Not being able to see you was hard enough, but not being able to call you daily was like the knife in between my eyes I do not know if you I do not know if you will get this letter but I have faith that you will so I shall pour out my heart to you in this letter because I do not know what the future holds for me I know what I want but only the divine will of the ancestors will manifest so may the will of Almighty God manifest even if I do not agree with it. For I know that the ancestors knows what is best. I do not sugarcoat anything, so I want so I want start now. I won't start now. I have to pour out my pain as I have no one to communicate with on this. It said poor connection on my end. So I'll read that last um, sentence again. I have to pour out my pain as I have no one to communicate with on this material plane. I have been in complete isolation for 34 days now. So please keep in mind while reading this letter, they are trying to break my soul and destroy my spirit. And they are torturing me because they are making me watch them do it. 
They could have killed me a long time ago, but that's too easy. As in good, as in any good torture tactics, it's much better to stab me than pour salt in the wound. That way, I suffer a slow, painful death. People have no clue what extreme isolation does to the mind. Yes, isolation does strengthen you and it has strengthened me as well. But it also can be brutal under these conditions. I'm inside a small room, no windows, only a metal gate as a window. I have a mattress, but it's but it lays on a top of a concrete slab about four inches from the floor. Normally, you have a metal bed which you place your mattress on. I have been to the hole before when I got in trouble before in jail in the past. And even in the hole, you have a bed. They have a hole here, and those inmates are sleeping on a bed. Keep in mind that those inmates have done something wrong to get to the hole. But they still get to call their family every day. When I went to the hole in other jails, I also actually did something wrong. But I also was still able to call my family every day. Where they have me now is a place they like to call behind the glass. They call it that, but I shall call it what it truly is. It is literally a torture chamber. And to be honest, I do not know how this place is legal. So here, so here I sit, no TV privileges, no hour a day of yard time, small room, no bed, no phone privilege. So I say all of this so that everything I say next, you may understand where it is all coming from. I have no glass window to really look out of in my room like I did in Barrow, Jackson, or any other jail I have been in. So imagine looking yourself, locking, sorry, locking yourself in our garage but much smaller. That's how the torture chamber they have me in looks. They place me here on purpose. That way they can give a false reason for not letting me call my family. I know for all, for all, for a fact, they are trying to poison my trays. I ate one tray and fell ill for almost two days straight. So now I am scared to eat the trays. And I couldn't even call my family to tell you because they aren't letting me use the phone. In 34 days, they only let me use the phone once on 22324 I see their plan clearly they plan to either kill me and say a inmate did it or it was suicide like they have done many other inmates here or to poison me if I eat the trays I'm sorry, that's two, okay, on page three, sorry y'all. Um, trying 
trays are so because I cannot buy. Okay, like I said earlier, he does have money on his books. But the week that he wrote this, they were giving me a hard time to be able to approve me so I can put money on his books. But as of right now, he does have money on his books. But when I read this, at that time, they were um, giving me a hard time to add the money on his, on, on, on the JPEG. Um, I can't buy my um buy myself food to eat because i have no money on my books and if you are okay with hearing from me once a month or not hearing from me for months at a time then that gives them time to do whatever they want to me and i'm not saying that you are but i'm explaining to you the severity of the situation i love you deeply and the 22 I know loves me deeply, will fight day and night for me and would never turn her back on me. She vowed to love me for better or worse. Well, this is worse right now. This letter will be long for I have much to say. But you must know what is really going on. This is why I said I do not know what the ancestors have in store for me and if you ever hear from me again just know if you never hear from me again just know i always loved you and i always will i always believed in you and i and i always will in the event of I'm sorry, 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 y'all. Um, please tell my mom, my sister, and the university that I love them. Please read this letter to them. My mom, my sister, and the university. He tell me to print it out. <laughs> then go, then go live on my account. Read it word for word. Um, tell the PR team thanks for their help and that I love them. Tell, tell Nay, tell Head. To, and Ted, I always looked up to them. I love them. Tell mom to tell Bo that I always had love and respect for him. And that even, even though he recommend me to a lawyer who ran off with 30K, I had forgiven, forgave him because I felt like that was not the lawyer doing. It was, it was the lawyer's doing, sorry, and not his. Um... I am writing I am writing like this because I have never been to a jail where I had to question if I would make it out alive. And it is and it's not the inmates I'm worried about. The few inmates that saw me already know who I am and they respect me. It's the Hay State Prison Administration I'm concerned about. And I do not fear death because I am a God. I fully understand that death is not real. But I would be lying to say that these white supremacists do not want to hurt me. They, are, they already told me this out their own mouth. And they are showing it through their actions since my arrival. For example, I was thrown and what they call behind the behind the glass but i call it what it really is a torture chamber the moment i got here behind the glass is for inmates who have stabbed or killed or hurt other inmates or officers I have i have done none of those above you I also need a DR, which is a um, disciplinary, disciplinary report, within 24 hours to 72 hours with the written allegation, which justifies them placing you here. I have no DR. Now they can, isol now they can isolate because of my public figure status like they did in Barrel and Jackson, but they cannot take my phone rights hour a day 
right, visitation rights, or store rights. My second day here, January 1st, I mean, uh, January the 26th, sorry, January 26th, 2024, Warden Jones called me to his office. He tells me that because I am a famous person, he know I will get a cell phone. So I'm somebody that he will be shaking down often. A shakedown is basically like if you were driving down the street and the police pulls you over, search your car every time they see you just because they know you are famous. That's called harassment. Then I asked to call my family. He denied me. I said, please let me call so they can know I'm okay. He said, I will let you call next week. Next week came and went. Still no call. Then on February 6th, they pulled me back in the office. Deputy Warden Ela, who is the Deputy Warden of Security, tells me that a lot of people have been calling. Then says the head warden, Jones, told him to give me a five minute call. That's when they let me call, but they were pissed. Faces were bloodshot red. They did not even wanna give me that five minute call. The very next day, Eternal Affairs, the ass Assistant Regional Director, and a bunch of other people that run the Georgia prison system that I do not uh, that I do not know came to see me. Warden Ela then told me that your your mom and wife had mastered the art of manipulation. They have our bosses coming down here. That's going to bring more heat on you. That's going to get you hurt or sent to high max. High max is for the most violent pri uh, prisoners. Prisoners on high max are there for killing other inmates. It's normally a five-year program of 24-hour lockdown. No visits, no phones. So I responded, why are you treating me? Why are you treating my life? Why are you threat? I'm sorry. Why are you threatening my life or to send me to high match just because my family called to check on me and people are calling to check on me? If you had let me call like I politely asked, this wouldn't be happening. Inmates are allowed to call their family daily. That's why they place phones in the jail. My family hasn't heard from me in two weeks. They supposed to call. They were extremely pissed that their bosses came down here. Then one of the assistant regional directors walked up to me with a nasty attitude. I can tell she is a house nigga. <laughs> nigga. Very evil spirits were on her. Remember I told you that there is a huge writing on the wall in the torture room I'm in. It says, God hear you. God see you. God got us. Keep your head up. When it get hard, call on God. God, child, I'm coming home. It was on the wall when I got here. It covers the whole wall. And I knew it was a sign from the universe and the ancestors when I first seen it. I have given a total of eight years of my life to the criminal justice system. And it and it is not uncommon to see things written on walls in county jails and prisons all over America. 
but I have never seen anything so powerful, so positive written on a jail wall. But anyway, she asked me, did I write it? I said, no, ma'am. It was here when I got here. Then she gonna say, if I gave you soap and water, would you wipe it off? Took everything in me not to curse her out because she was trying disrespect me godhood in front of all these white men shake my head it be your own people then i responded no ma'am i will not wipe it off i did not put it there then the head warden jones gonna say You sure you didn't put it there? That's kind of your thing, isn't it? God talk, right? I saw the video over 300K views. Then he started smiling. I'm looking at him like this, your prison. And I know that, that you know that the writing was on the wall before you put me in here. You see what I'm up against here? Do you see how evil they are? True devils in the flesh. They literally be shape-shifting right in front of me. I'm expressing all this to you so you can see where my mindset is at and how it got there. These people who work here they literally worship Zeus, a.k.a. Satan, and they do not try to hide it. This is why I was sent here. The whole town is in on it. This is the only reason I do not want the family to visit me. I can't risk it. I want to see family, but I can't risk it. I'd rather do video visits. It's only 1100 people in the whole town the prison also owns the town hospital this is how they have been getting away with murdering so many inmates because they have the hospital printing up fake autopsy reports the prison also owns the local courts and police station this is how they avoid legal action against them. They are down here beating inmates, killing them, raping them, manipulating them. They cut off one inmate's finger by slamming it, it in the flab. Not giving inmates grievances, so that the inmates can legally grieve their issue. For example, I would like to grieve, I would like to aggrieve this issue, but being in this torture room, they won't give me one. Stealing inmates' property, for example, I came here with over a hundred dollars in food and about twenty dollars in hygiene. I left Jackson with two big bags I came here with. They took all my property and haven't given it back, but yet they make me spend money to buy items off the store I already came here with. They even outgoing mail, which is why I pray you get this letter. These people want to kill me, and if they have it their way, they do not plan on letting me leave this prison alive. This prison and town is ran by the KKK. They are literally practicing witchcraft. Okay. Um, they took my book on E5 but gave me a Bible instead. That's how evil they are. They will not let me practice my religion or spirituality, but they will let 
the Christians and the Catholics and the Muslim practice theirs. Let him who has eyes see clearly. I am in tears writing this. Please keep in mind that I have been in this room 34 days with zero communication with you but one time. All I know is we spoke on 2-23-24. Once again, he mentions about the money on the books, but he does have money on his book as of right now. Um, the prison was giving me a hard time to approve me um, so I can put money on his JPay account. Um, he says, I'm not, uh, he says, for an hour, I told you I need money out of my bank account on my book. I'm not saying you haven't tried, but please try harder. Call the counselor every day until you're able to put money on my books and visits. Make sure I spelled the address correctly. I know I did the name right. Tell her to read off what I wrote on my end to you from her computer. Hopefully by time you get this letter the visits are set up and money is on my books because from my end it kind of feels like you may have tried a few times then gave up like i said i could be wrong but i'm not able to talk to you plus my conditions have me confused lost for words and questioning everything Um, like I chose you, September 20th was one of the greatest months of my life. And 5 14 21 was one of the greatest days of my life. In my eyes, you are my soulmate. I miss your smile. Looking into your beautiful soul through those big eyes. Eating your tacos. Um, watching your sex walk, sexy walk. Um, through the house, um, holding you while you stand on stand on my feet in the kitchen. Yeah, I, I used to love doing that. I would stand on his feet. Uh, uh, us traveling together, um, laughing at each other's jokes, uh, watching you play Madden and actually win. Yes, I actually win on Madden. Uh -huh. He said, LOL. That amazes me every time still to this day. Um, uh, me look, uh, me um, locking up the house only to come upstairs and find you dressed in lingerie. I was not expecting your timing was always. Oh, sorry, your timing was always impeccable. Because you caught me off guard every time. Or coming upstairs and voila, there you sit. Natural beauty, no makeup needed, just tats piercing and the most radiant smile I ever laid my eyes on. With a nice king palm already stuffed. Yes, he loved the king palms. I couldn't help but smile as you sit India style on our bed with the rolling tray and the lighter in front of you. Even though... We would argue and fight sometimes like all couples or married couples do. At the end of the day, we always had each other's back. The disagreements could never outweigh the love I have for you. How grateful I am I have found you again in this life. How much I appreciate you. You are very, very smart goddess. You barely stand five feet tall, but you have the strength of a 100 feet giant you support me and allow me to lead and i led us all the way to the super bowl just like i promised i would you stood by my side through it all and i love you more with every breath i i take for i take for that 22 you always say, I love flowers, so I get them for you like the bouquet of roses and the chocolate and the edible arrangement I bought for you from prison on Divine Love Day. 
But what I'm really trying to get you to see that you are the true rose, jasmine, and lavender of this thing called life. You are one of the most beautiful flowers in the garden of creation, both spiritually and physically. I just hope that I did a great job of showing you that. And I know you are reading this like, does he want me to read all of this as well? LOL. The answer is yes. Read everything word from word. I do, I do not know if I will ever hear or see you again. So I promise to pour my whole soul out in this letter. I want you, I want you, mom, pops, the PR team, the university, the haters, Satan, and the fallen to know how I feel about everything. Just in case no one ever hears, hears from me again, I am going out the same way I came, a God fearless, expressing the truth. Um, he says, I will use my last sheet of my last sheet to write my mom. I'm going to ask if she, if you did what I told you to do with this letter, LOL. Um, just, he said, it's imperative yourself and the world hears this entire message. Um, he says he loved the kids, but because of his conviction, I'm not able to speak with them. So how can I raise them? He says, then Zoe has her own dad. Um, and uh, okay, see, some of this is personal, so I'm going to skim through it. I'm almost done. He said, I asked myself these questions from my torture room in tears. I know you are lonely and, and every goddess has needs. How much longer can you hold off? Who going to hold you? Who's going to protect you since I'm not there to physically do it? I do not want you to have to lie to me because someone else made you smile or caught your eye and you're trying to stay loyal. But temptation is hard. And you and you don't want to hurt my feelings, but you need intimacy and physical attention. I'm not able to provide right now. So how long before one day you get tired of waiting? I would never get tired of waiting. I ask myself these questions from my torture room in tears. On on two twenty three twenty four, you said a lot had happened in the last month since we spoke, yet you told me little to nothing. I could sense it's something you wanted to tell me, but didn't. I asked myself, has my soulmate broke my, my, her oath to, to me? I asked myself this question from my, my torture room in tears. He, when he did talk to me, he did most of the talking. So I couldn't even tell him some things I want to tell him and it definitely was not because I was leaving him or wanted to be with somebody else um I asked myself this question from my torture room in tears I am I am being did the same way they did Jesus he was wrongly convicted sentenced to death for spreading the truth and here I sit Rashad Jamal Will I make it out of prison alive? Will my wife leave me for someone who is not in jail? Will me and my wife ever have kids? Is Zaza my son? Will I get to finish teaching the planet? Why is the whole world watching our oppressors torture me? Why is no one helping? And what, you know, he can't see what we're doing on the outside so you guys got to understand where he, he where his mindset is um 
because I know your eyes are helping and, and you guys did help me be able to speak with him for, for those um, amount of days that I did not was able to speak to him. So I would definitely appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Um, how could I give so much to the planet yet receive so little in return? Will I ever see my wife again? Will I ever talk to her on the phone again? Will she get this letter? Will she read it to everyone like I asked her <laughs> to? Does her pops know I love and respect him? Is my purpose done? Will the gods and goddesses use the extraterrestrial wisdom I gave them? Or will they let, the, let it die in vain? How long will they mourn me? Did anyone ever truly divinely love me? Or was I just used, uh, betrayed, and lied to? I asked myself these questions from my torture room in tears. Um, signed, Rashad Jamal. All right, that's, that is the letter. You guys can... Uh, Share it, um, like he said, share it via FaceTime. I'm not fan talking about FaceTime. Um, Facebook, um, IG, TikTok, and, um, and uh, YouTube. Um, um, once again, I want to appreciate everyone who's continued to support um, my husband, um, just want to say thank you um you know we're going through a rough time right now but i know everything's gonna work out fine i know he will will be home um but he did want me to read and share um his letter that he did write write to me that i read off um i'm going to get off here um, everyone just continue to um, blow up the phones. Um, all his, all the information is on, um, it's on my, my platform and it's also, um, on the, you know, the universe, the university, um, IG as well. Um, peace to everyone. Um, If it's another update I, and he wants me to come back on here to give an update, I definitely um, will we'll do that. All right. Peace. Peace and love.